Okay, y'all. The crazy, the lights is looking crazy because I cannot get my lights to work on my Alexa app. One of my lights is changing colors, but the other one, it just says powered on. And it won't let me change the color. See, look, I can turn the light off, but then it's dark in here. But I wanted to change it from this stupid dang on yellow light. But anyway, let me get on with this because I've spun my chair around and get to the point of the video. So, hey you guys, I am on here and first I wanted to start the video with an unboxing. And then if you have seen the title, you know exactly what this video is for. I am going to do a Yanni sting. So what I did was, I'm like, okay, I've done this before. I recorded the video, but I've never published it. So how about I actually get some stuff and be prepared to do it, to do it at home and do it the correct way. So what I did was I got on Amazon. I bought the Female Ritual Steam Therapy. Yanni Steam Er herbs 100% natural and on the package it says this is two to four stings um I bought that and sorry y'all I'm gonna get on Amazon and tell you how much it costs even though the links will be in the bottom to let you know exactly how much it costs because I bought it off of Amazon it came in a day I got it with my prime so I got next day delivery so the Yanni steam from female rituals was $12.99 and then what I also bought, because if you're going to do a Yanni steam and I don't have a chair, then that means I need to do it in my toilet. So that was the issue I had the first time I tried to do it. Because I'm like, I can stick a plastic mixing bowl into the toilet and I can do it that way. Well, I didn't get the best out of the steam. Plus, it was like, it just looks so jankety. So what I did this time was, I went on to Amazon and I bought... It's called a stitch bath. Um, they say it's a stitch bath. It's like a bidet. It's like a portable bidet. And um, so I bought this. Sorry, y'all. I dropped the stuff off of it. I bought that on Amazon. I got it in blue because I like the color blue. And I think the stitch bath was $17.99. Let me see. Because I bought them both together. Yeah, that was $17.99. So, it comes with the tubing and everything. Because you're supposed to stick the tubing up through there. And then it, like, has a hand pump for you to pump the water up. It's supposed to be for hemorrhoids. But we're going to use this for a Yanni sting. Yeah. Tells you on the card what to do and what it's for. But I'm going to sit this on my toilet so that the dish part can hold the boiling water and the herbs. So I just wanted to unbox that real fast and then open up my package. It is sealed. It's in a resealable package on top of it. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. This smell real good. Can y'all see inside of there? Mmm. Oh my God. This smells like a raspberry tea. Like something that you could really and truly sit here and drink. I am a true tea drinker. But on the package it says that the Yanni Steam or Vaginal Steaming is a self-health practice to restore health and balance. Gives you the directions. Put the herbs in the water. Into a pot. Bring to a boil for about... Let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, then turn the heat off. Keep covered. You can use as little or as much herbs as you like. What they say is um, an average size can be as small as a quarter of an ounce or a quarter, quarter of an ounce, or as large as one ounce. Experiment. Uh, prepare your steam, um, place it in a container, in a chair. Do not sit above the steam if it's too hot. Undress, 
wrap a towel or um, a blanket around you. I'm going to use my handy dandy blanket right here that I keep in my work chair because it's not too big but it's not too small and then I'm going to put it around my toilet. I'm going to show you guys my setup because right now I got the water sitting there boiling. So I have not added the herbs to my water in the kitchen yet but that's what I'm going to do. And then number four is let the steam flow into your skin 15 to 30 minutes. Repeat three to four times a month before and after your cycle it gives you one two three four things to avoid do not use do not use if you're pregnant or you think you may be pregnant do not use on your menstrual cycle do not use if you have an iud or any other contraceptive device in place do not do it number four is if you have a vaginal infection or an open wound pal so look let me get onto the website and let me see tell you guys some of the benefits that the website says all right so it helps too because i'm just reading right off my phone is bright okay yeah i can't even see it but i'm just reading right off of amazon what the um company puts as the benefits it reduces menstrual symptoms bloating cramps exhaustion and heavy bleeding decreases health heavy menstrual flow yeah i have a seriously heavy menstrual flow and i just came off probably like um about two weeks ago so that's the whole point um, regulation of irregular or absent menstrual cycles, quick healing and tone the reproductive system after birth. I ain't gave birth in almost 15 years. Um, ease discomfort, promotes healing and birth and C-section recovery. Now i Assist with the healing of hemorrhoids, hence the stitz bath. It's supposed to help with hemorrhoids. <laughs> Relief uh, for the symptoms of menopause helps to restore bacterial and pH balance to aid in prevention of infections, bacterial vaginosis, and odors. Helps tighten the Yanni Canal. This is your vaginal canal. Yanni is another steam for vagina. You know, it's a vagina steam. Um, detoxify of the Yanni body and the mind. Pal, there you have it. So, um, I just wanted to hop on here real fast. I'm going to come back in a minute once I have you guys set up in the bathroom. And I'm going to bring you along. Be right back. Okay, you guys. I'm just jumping on here real fast. Show you my toilet setup. So, that is the stitz bath just on the toilet. And then, I'll be right back. Let me show you um, me putting the stuff into the pot. Okay, y'all. Um, don't judge my water. I promise it's clean. It's fogging up. Okay, you guys. So, here's my pot. It is just sitting right on my bathroom counter. I'm going to take my other hand with the, the herbs. And all I'm going to do, because what I'm going to do is let that steep. Because I just took the pot off of the stove. So... Here's about how much I got. And I'm just going to put that into the water. I'm going to grab another kind of handful. Because I'm being jankity and I'm in my bathroom. I'm taking the ends of the makeup brush. And I'm going to just put that into the water. Just like the instructions said. Put the lid. Just the lid. Let that steep a little bit. And then I'm going to pour this once it cools down. Because you don't want to burn yourself and put like burning hot water. So that's what I did. And then I'm going to put it into the thing. And then I'll be back. Oops. Alright you guys. So this is what it looks like. <clears throat> Alright you guys. This is what it looks like inside of there. I did not fill it all the way up. You can kind of see it has a lip. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get myself together to sit on there. Hey you guys, so I am back and I got my handy dandy cover. I am sitting on it. I tested it out first to make sure that this is not burning me. It is just nice and warm right now. So what I am going to do is I'm going to sit here. I'm about to sit here and just chill for 30 minutes. Um, 
and I'll let you guys know the outcome. So like literally, this cost me less than what forty dollars. It was like twelve ninety nine for the stuff, and um. Okay, hey you guys, I am back, and as you can see, I am in position with my cover. All I did was take and sit on it, cover it up, wrap my legs and everything. I took everything off my bottoms, just left on my socks, put my blanket wrapped tightly, securely around the top. My blanket is right there behind me, and I can feel the steam. So what I'm doing is just sitting with my feet flat on the floor, open you can see kind of and I'm just letting the steam rise so I'm just gonna sit here for about 30 minutes or so it's not too hot but if you felt as if it was too too hot and burning what you want to do then is let it cool down some because you don't want this to be extremely hot especially considering if you're opening up your legs where well, you're supposed to open your legs you don't want it to burn you so I'm gonna sit here for a little bit play on my phone Watch me some videos and let the steam rise. Yeah, my family. Alright, this is where I'm We are Marco Polo. Um, <laughs> my mother is on Marco Polo and we send video messages all day long in a group message. <laughs> me, my mother, and my aunt. So that's where we're going. What's that called? Alright you guys, so I'm going to check in because we're almost 10 minutes in and I know I sped this up because I didn't want to just chop and cut, but the steam, oh even my blanket right here is warm, so I was watching YouTube, but so I still feel the steam 10 minutes in and it's still nice and warm, but not as warm, but like I said, I still feel the steam. Even my blanket right here is all warm. So, we're going to continue to sit here. But, it feels like, you know how like rain moisture on a car? That's how it's feeling. Like rain moisture on my butt. <laughs> but, we're going to continue to sit here. It is not uncomfortable or anything like that. Like I explained earlier, the benefits of doing a Yanni steam. Like, I am so excited to finally get to try one in the own, in the comforts of my own bathroom. Because you can clearly see, this is my toilet in my bathroom. I am so excited to get to do one in the private comforts of my own home. So, y'all let me know. Because, um, what I was thinking about doing, and I'm not exactly sure when, was to get a wax. Um... That was one thing I said I kind of wanted to try. I can't sit here and say it was my first time because my first time was before I went on vacation. I think I went to the Bahamas or something. And I, no, I was going to Jamaica. 
on a cruise to Jamaica and I went and got a wax and it was such a horrible experience and when I say I went and got a wax it wasn't my eyebrows I got you know a bikini wax um, before I went to go on vacation so that is what I'm thinking about I'm thinking about giving that another try after I promise y'all I went to Jamaica probably six years ago so that's what I'm thinking about next is maybe bringing you guys along so that um, I could try that again but I'm gonna go to a completely different person um so thumbs this up if you guys just but I'm gonna go to a completely different person so you guys just let me know if you interested in seeing that and maybe I'll make it happen sooner than later but back to my YouTube videos Right, you guys so I have literally sat here for about 27 or so minutes so says the time on the screen um I still feel the steam mm, it's not as hot and it could just be the residual of the steam but it kind of lasted almost the 30 minutes I mean at this point even the inside of my blanket is kind of wet so what I did was um, I started to close my legs a little, um, like just cross over at the knees a little bit to keep some of the steam from seeping through underneath my legs. I did do that probably about 15 or so minutes in. Um, overall though, I hate having to keep still and everything else, but I'm going to follow back up with you guys and just give a brief little review you know i promise i'm gonna try to keep this in seven days i'll do a review again in seven days and if anything during the week like any change during the week or anything like that i'll let you guys know but this was actually a peaceful enjoyable experience um so comment like subscribe let me know what you guys want to see next i am out of here